do they have fancy glasses? I could just look through my phone at it, couldn't you? I don't think looking through your phone's gonna burn your eyes. It's still really bright out. I'm beginning to think I'm eclipsing wrong. Maybe I'm doing something, it's just not working. Maybe I need to turn it off and turn it back on. Maybe, uh, maybe it'll work then. I just kind of thought it'd be darker. Come on, Opie. Standing in the middle of the road is not a good thing. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I will break the leash out. Come on. There we go. He's probably getting weak. He's on another one of his kicks where he doesn't eat and drink. It's been two days. All right, well, the wife gave me these fancy glasses. We're in Peoria, Illinois. If you're gonna see anything, we should see it here. I think Indianapolis, which is what, uh, about three hours from us here. Further east, I was supposed to uh, get, I think they call it to totality or something like that. It's supposed to get pitch black there. So we should be able to see something if we're gonna see it. That is super cool. You can see it. I look cool too, right? But you can actually see it happening. That is kind of cool. All right, I dig these now. Oh, where'd my dog go? Okay. I'm gonna try. Um, I'm gonna try something here. Can you guys see that? I'm holding the glasses over the camera. It's not coming across as clear as it does when I just put the glasses on. Here, let me see if I can adjust it. There you go. So it is doing something. It's about an hour behind of what they said it'd be, but it is doing something there. That's kind of cool, right? What should we do? Should we hang out at this truck stop here until it goes dark or should we just keep trucking? We have the time to chill out if we want to chill out. I, I, it started hitting the sun, the moon. So I don't know how long that's gonna take actually. I, I don't know. Well, it, it is kind of cool though. I heard back home it's really cloudy so no one's gonna see anything which I don't think our school was gonna do anything anyway, which is kind of shocking. You think it'd be kind of a learning experience of some sort or another. But I think back in 2017, when that eclipse hit, um, the kids were still young enough to where the classrooms were making like uh, solar glasses out of cereal boxes and stuff like that. I'm not too sure if they had these fancy things back then, you know, because that was a really, really long time ago. It wasn't that long ago. They say I'm supposed to watch you. Yeah. Because when it gets dark, you're going to get very sleepy and you're going to start your bedtime routines. I don't think they know you sleep 20 hours a day already. I'm pretty sure they know. I, I, I'm positive they don't know that. I feel like kind of a dork sitting here doing this, but I know I'm not the only one. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one in the truck stop. I really wish you guys could see it like, well, I'm sure someone on YouTube will have a really fancy camera doing this and you guys can just YouTube it. 
you can actually see the moon, I think. Yeah, you can actually see the moon. The sun is at like a half crest right now, and it's just perfect. It's uh, it's a perfect. It's just like the bedtime story books, you know. It's it's a perfect half moon. Yeah. You guys already know I'm a dork, so we don't need to get into too much detail. All right, you big baby. All right. Yes, you are. You just you just know that, don't you? starting to get darker it's kind of a weird darker it's not uh oh my gosh if you uh if you watched my last video i am seriously turning into one of those people that i thought i was going to be complaining about but i don't have to complain about them i'm at a truck stop and uh but i don't know if you uh if it's coming across the camera i, I doubt highly but it is uh it's like turning into dusk right now It's a sad day when these people over at this uh, factory, you can see that uh, I'm assuming their boss let them go outside and they got their glasses on watching it. I don't know if it's coming across the camera and I'm going to stop saying that, but it's getting dark. It cooled down big time. I mean, we're talking big time cool down. I put the glasses back up to the camera, guys, and you, you just can't see anything. We're almost to the point to where, uh, where she's covered up about as much as it's going to get covered up. If I, I think about another five minutes is when it's supposed to hit. But it's a sad day when when those guys get to sit outside and I'm texting my kids and <clears throat> they're in school. Yeah, they have their phone in classroom, tisk tisk. Teachers won't let them go out. <clears throat> they even have these fancy glasses. Then I get a text from Tater Tot. I went out and I seen it. I went out and I seen it. Troy, just tell them you gotta go pee, then go out and see it. So that, that's crazy that the school isn't doing anything. I I mean, it's not a huge deal. I mean, I've been sitting here for 30 minutes now. Yesterday's video, I'm gonna have to edit that up to where I don't sound like, sound like a, I don't know. But I was, uh, <clears throat> it, it's not a huge deal, it's not. But I think the kids should probably get to see it at least, especially if they got glasses. So I'm hoping Troy goes out, sneaks his way out, and uh, gets to check it out.
guess the signs all did say expect major delays. I just never thought I'd actually see them. I think I made the right call not going to uh, Indianapolis this morning, you know, getting an early start. I did contemplate it. Boy, I thought about it. I was thinking, man, if I started right now or even last night, I thought about just running her all the way through the night and then uh, getting out there and I'm thinking, you know, that'd been kind of cool, maybe, you know, but it wasn't that big of a deal for me to put up with traffic. I talked to Roust about, he's on his way to St. Louis right now. He says that interstate's a mess. He said for the last hour and a half, they've been going 30 miles per hour. As for us right now, me and the German, my last stop, I uh, had full expectations on, what? All right. There, there's a belly rub. There's your belly rub, now make your bed. I had full expectations on um, uh, clearing up some memory space on my on my disc here, so I need to do that quick. That takes about an hour just to move everything over where it needs to be. That way I can push record a little bit more and not worry about uh, running out of space. Alright, we got some memory filled up, or some memory, more memory for you. Um, the truck stop was starting to fill up, so I decided to pull over here to the no trucking, no parking part. That's okay, because like I said, we're done, we're getting ready to go, I'm just walking the German. That's Interstate 74 behind us. We're in Indiana now, and the traffic is still backed up going west. Now at first I was thinking, like when I recorded that chunk of traffic earlier, I was thinking, maybe that's because of that road construction. There's no way that's from Eclipse viewing. Uh, it's from Eclipse viewing. It's everybody leaving. Everybody was down in the Indiana area, Southern Illinois area. That's all traffic of them leaving right now. Or trying to leave the states. That's insanity. I am so glad I stopped in Peoria and uh, decided to do my Eclipse viewing. So glad I did. That is crazy. If I would have got down into Indianapolis and seen all that, I would not have been a happy man. Right now we're going to continue our trip. We're only 40 miles from uh, Greenfield where we're going to deliver. And then uh, we'll, get, uh, we'll get back on the back on track here holy smokes I'm just dumbfounded that's a lot of traffic were we really gone that long that's gonna be a brand new Casey's I think it might actually have some truck parking at it too most Casey's don't have we really been gone that long from Indiana that that was just a chunk of dirt last time we went past here
actually remembered me. I haven't been out here for months and months and months, and they actually remembered me. I often wonder if Warden would remember me if I didn't see her for a couple months. They remembered me, though. Okay, so we have our paperwork in hand. We have dropped the trailer off, a loaded trailer, and we now have an empty trailer behind us. We are heading for Austin, Indiana now, which is just north of Louisville, Kentucky. I'm trying to remember, I know there's a beacon along this route to where a person could get the truck and trailer washed up, because everything, everything is very, very dirty. But I can't remember where it's at. We have 90 miles till we get to Austin, so I think there's one in there somewhere, I just cannot remember. Yeah, they're dirty, very dirty. told you guys that I sure do love my truck. She's sexy. Come on, Oak. Let's go over here. It's kind of dark out, but there's some grass over here for you. I think that looks like a little diner over there. Might have to check that out tomorrow before we leave. Because if it is a little diner, I think I'm going to want a little bit of diner food. We've made it to Austin, um, Indiana. Looks like a... I, I don't know what the town looks like. I just know where we're at. And uh, it, it looks peaceful. It's very peaceful. I would actually probably um, kill the truck. 100% humidity, 72 degree dew point. So we're growing some humidity out here. We're growing some of that stickiness. As right now, all the windows in my truck are fogged over. I've been sitting on the phone talking to California for about two hours now since we've gotten here. Just, uh, just, just talking. And uh, inside of the truck kind of fogged over. The goal is to walk around. Then you walk around. Okay. Where are we going to go? Let's go down to the end of the street and back. Yeah, my headlights are on. Don't worry, this is one of those occasions if you missed the last video, a few videos ago, how I leave the lights on. When it's dark out, hope he doesn't like the dark. I'm going to wrap this one up. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please subscribe. That's kind of crazy how many people aren't subscribed. I mean, I love the views either which way. But uh, if you've watched a few and you kind of like them, please subscribe. You guys stay safe. And as always, I'll see you next time.